To do these induced eddy current experiments, you require two neodymium magnets, a aluminum can, a bicycle spoke, and some other odd materials. First, take the aluminum can and cut it into three equal parts. Now, this is you're cutting the base right now. Cut it again into half and remove the top. There will be two hoops. Uh, cut these hoops in the middle and place them in the base of the can. This will thicken the wall of the base can. Now take an old pen and in the lid stick a washer and push this pen in the base hole of the can. This would form the kind of a perch. Now on a rubber slipper, uh, stand a needle, apply some glue in the hole and push the pip of a press button. You can see the needle standing upright and a press button. Now these strong magnets stick to the scissors but not to the aluminum can. Now this can must rotate freely on the needle. Now these are two new diamond magnets on a yellow piece of rubber tied to a thread. Now spin the thread so there are twists over there and the magnets will start rotating the opposite direction and take them inside the can. The magnets must not touch the can but because of the induced currents the aluminum can will spin very fast. Now this is because of eddy currents. Take another can, apply some rubber glue and stick a press button so that the pip is on the top make a small hole in the base and put a refill. Now perch uh, the can on the needle top so that the tip sits on the press button and this can must also rotate freely. Now these are this is a bicycle spoke and two near and magnets. Uh, push uh, the spoke inside the rubber with two magnets on the side. Now place the lower end in the press button and spin the two magnets. The magnets must not touch the aluminum can, but because of the induced eddy currents, the aluminum can will start to spin very fast. Both these are excellent demonstrations for eddy currents.